Hey there, it's E Squared Photography. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily, and we are here to keep things simple and fun. Do you ever struggle with pricing in your photography business? It can be a lot. And so today we are going to help cover the top photography pricing mistakes and explain how you can better price and ease your mind when it comes to pricing. And for the best photography tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell for notifications of future videos. And by the end of this video today, you will feel much more confident when it comes to pricing in your photography business. And just so you know, every Monday we come out with a new video, so make sure to stick around for that. And we have something special for you, so make sure to stick around until the end of the video. Okay, we are going to go over some common mistakes that we've made when it comes to pricing and that we see others make in hopes that it will make things easier for you. So mistake number one, comparing your work to others to determine price. First of all, as hard as it might be, stop comparing your work to others or you will go insane, you're going to burn out and you're going to stop altogether. So stop comparing your work to others, especially when it comes to pricing. That is not okay to do. Mistake number two, we made this, I feel like almost everybody makes this mistake. It is guessing your price based on what you see online and what you think you are worth. So if you are someone, comment below for us, if you are someone that has done this, you've went on other local photographers websites, you've checked out what they price and you try to figure out, okay, this person's like a super good photographer. They're charging $500 for their session. I'm kind of brand new. I'm going to charge $200. So doing that is a mistake. And we're gonna talk about how you can fix this mistake, but that is a mistake, a big no-no. And with that comes, you're doing the same thing again. You're comparing your work to others. It's not about who is a better photographer, if the photos look better. That is not what you need to be thinking about when you're thinking about pricing. You are worth more than that thought. Okay, and then mistake number three is offering digitals only. Now, when we first started out, we just wanted the easiest thing possible, and I think that's okay when you're first starting out. But when we first started out, we said, here's all the digitals, see you later. Nothing after that, just here you go, have at her, print them where you want, have all of them. And we began to realize that that is not okay to do. There are many different opinions when it comes to pricing, but in our opinion, we don't think offering all digitals is the best answer. There are other ways that you can do it to make even more money and you are worth it. The other downfall of just offering digital images is that you are not serving your clients by providing them the opportunity to purchase professional prints through you. You want to be able to give them the service they need and want to use you for that to make their lives easier. You don't want to go through all of the work to take these beautiful photos, edit them beautifully, deliver them to the clients just so they stay in their file folder on their computer and get lost in a couple years, or even worse, they do print them off, but they print them not at a professional lab, hang them on their wall and say, hey, so-and-so took those photos, don't you like them? And they don't look that great because they weren't printed professionally and you never gave your opinion on a great place that you would recommend printing to. So we do strongly feel like offering digitals only is doing a disservice to your client. Okay, so now that you know mistakes we've made and maybe you are making or have made, let's talk about how to price properly. So the most important thing when it comes to pricing properly is to think about what you need and or want to make each month. So what I mean by that is if you are doing this photography, let's say you're doing it as kind of a side gig right now, but you know that your family is relying on you to make $1,000 
a month with photography. Well, then you know that's a great starting point. You know now you need to make $1,000. Now we're gonna work backwards. How are we gonna do that? How much am I going to work? And then how, many, how much are my sessions going to cost? What are my packages going to look like? So the very first thing you need to think about is how much you need, or maybe it's bonus vacation money or something fun. How much do you want to make with your photography business? And I think once you know how much you need and want, let's just say each month, cause it makes it easier, you can then think about at the same time, be thinking about, well, how often do I want to work? And remember, when it comes to work as a photographer, it isn't just going to the session. It's also the after fact of editing. So there's all those pieces that come into play. Now, if you only want to work three times a month, but you need to make a $1,000 um, each month, now you can do the math and figure out, well, how much do each of those three sessions need to be? What does that look like for what type of photography that I'm doing? Is that realistic? The next important thing is to know your worth. So what do we mean by that? Know that you are worthy to get paid to take photos of somebody else or something else. You are worth it. You put in the time to plan it. You put in the time to be at the session. You've put in the time to hopefully educate yourself a little bit. And you're putting in the time editing and delivering the photos to your clients. There's all of that time and energy that you're putting in. You do have to know that you're worthy. There are far too many times that we see photographers say, how do I know when to start charging for sessions? Or is this too much to charge? You really just need to know that you are worth it. And once you start charging money for your sessions or increasing the amount of money that you're charging for sessions, you will see a response from your clients and you will receive a positive one. If you don't receive a positive one, make adjustments and go from there, but know that you are worthy of something. So the biggest thing when it comes to pricing is to follow a system. So like we said, know your worth number one and know how much you need or want to make and work backwards. How much do you want to work? How many sessions do you want to do per week? Now, what does that look like? How much are these packages going to cost? Am I comfortable with that? If I'm not comfortable with that, then maybe I go back and say, hey, maybe I need to do more sessions per week so I'm more comfortable with what I am charging. So really following a step-by-step -step system. And if you are interested in learning more about the business side of things, we do have a couple of things just for you. So in the description below, we have a free business checklist where we are giving you our top things when you're first starting a photography business that we suggest you do. In addition to that, we have a pricing and workflow course where we take you through in video lessons, we take you through step by step by step how we price and we're giving you our workflow, our email templates, we're showing you our questionnaires that we send. So all of that is inside of that course and you can find that also in the description below. And it comes with an awesome student workbook to keep you super organized. So throughout this pricing and workflow course, we really have you reflecting on your needs and your wants and really setting up that pricing system and that workflow to make your life so much easier. So highly recommend that you take a look at what that is all about in the description below. And you guys, if you liked this video today, make sure to subscribe and share with a friend so we know to make more videos just like this one. And if you don't already, make sure to follow us on Instagram at esquared.photography and we will see you next week.